Good afternoon, man. 25 gamers. In today's episode of Defensive Scheme of the Week, we're going to take a look at our base zone blitz uh, coming from the big nickel bear formation. This is going to show you how to get pressure uh, from a zone coverage look. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the play. Our base play is the Storm Red. Uh, in order to get uh, heavy zone look pressure from this, uh, what I like to do is I like to use the play Crash 3. Uh, so it's very simple to set up. The reason I like to use the play Crash 3 is because you don't have to manually control the middle linebacker and the A-gap. If you do not want to, you can to make it look the same, but it's not important. So what we like to do out of the Crash 3 is we like to base the line, I like to spread our defensive line, now, depending on which side, uh, and then we always like to put our left of screen defensive end in a blitz, uh, we like to blitz him. Now, depending on what side you want to send pressure, that's going to depend on what side you want to uh, re-blitz your linebacker on. So, in this example, we're going to send it off the left because the running back's on the right side. So, globally, blitz your left of screen linebacker. Now, we like to put our middle linebacker, and we're going to use our control him. Now, remember, we don't have to put him in the A-gap, but we like to just to make it look the same. Immediately after the ball snap, we're going to be sprinting out to the left side of the screen. Okay, so we're going to sit him in the A-gap as if we were running our Storm Red. In reality, we're running the Crash 3, and you see we're going to get that left edge pressure at the quarterback. Let's take a look at that instant replay just to show you what the blitz like looks like from the quarterback's point of view. So in this example, he thinks he's going to have the flat open, but with us sprinting out there at the snap, at this point is where he would probably throw the football. Where would you throw it here? Really not anywhere open. And then as we progress, you see right before he gets hit, he gets a little bit of a window to throw the curl right on the left. But how does he know that that's always going to be there? We'll be able to take that away because we are user controlling that area. Very effective pressure. All right, so now let's go over the right edge version. So base line. Re-blitz that left side, line, uh, defensive lineman, uh, spread your defensive line. Now, in this example, we're going to set it off the right side. So we're going to globally re-blitz our right side linebacker here. We're going to place our Nick Roach here in a hook zone. And we're going to put him right over this guy again. Now, this time, our assignment is just the regular hook zone of the field. All right, so snap go. We drop out. And you see you're going to get that really, really cute little uh, edge pressure on the right side that you've seen so many people running this season uh, out of the big nickel bear. So here again, you see that this is a very quick pressure off that right edge. And with, guy, with uh, teams with great speed like the Oakland Raiders, this is going to be very effective in Madden 25. Okay, so that is left and right. Now if you want to send it double, all we have to do is very simple. Globally zone your linebackers just so you already have Roach and the hook. Reblitz both of them. Reblitz the D-line here. Spread the D-line here. And then in this situation, uh, a lot of times you'll see me, I will sprint out like I'm going to the flat and then I'll jump back over the middle so sprint out and then jump back like so and with this pressure you're going to get two guys free at the quarterback say so look at what the quarterback sees in instant replay you see at this point um, I don't know what happened why 29 was so wide but you see at this point here this is where he would have to get rid of the football and really this is a very deceptive defense now obviously you can make adjustments based off of where your opponent has been targeting but ideally here again you, you're just gonna have to all you're gonna have to do is run this play uh, one thing I have noticed is sometimes this blitz angle here over here on the left you kinda need to I would like to throw it down a little bit it's like so just so it comes a little faster the reason we like this pressure is that they block the running back you're still gonna get pressure at him so here you block the running back and you still get the same pressure uh, that you got before with the original two-way pressure setup so this is what the quarterback sees. He thinks he has everything picked up. Unfortunately, with the pressure still coming off that left edge, really not a whole lot of places he can go. Maybe potentially the curl on the left edge. So that is our zone blitz, guys. Be sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to show you our base man-to-man -man pressure out of the big nickel bear defense from the 46 defensive playbook. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe for more Madden 25 content. Thank you so much for your support. You guys mean the world to me.